the gains of the speed mock law of the autothrust have been adjusted to achieve better speed control performance during acceleration or deceleration. The time to reach the target speed decreases because the engines react more quickly and ensure speed is kept in a range of minus 5 to plus 10 knots of the target speed. In this video, you can see some acceleration and deceleration cases. The first example shows a speed acceleration to 280 knots. Let's do a deceleration from 280 to 240 knots with full spoilers. You can see that the engines react quickly, and speed guidance accuracy is fulfilled. Now how does the improved autothrust react in a case of higher drag? To find out, we reduce speed and put the gear down to induce more drag. As you can see, the engines are spooling up consistently to maintain the speed. Let's test it out with even more drag. Let's reduce to 160 knots and set more flaps. The autothrust speed Mach law also takes into account the aircraft rate of acceleration or deceleration. In this case, the plane is decelerating quickly due to high drag. As a result, the engine starts spooling up earlier to capture the target speed. The last cases show that accurate speed capture is also possible with gear down, foot flaps, and full spoilers in cases of acceleration and deceleration.